am here at Polka Dot Gallery, where we have six lovely Kenyan women artists mm -hmm. uh, who are exhibiting, starting at International Women's Day, March 8th, mm -hmm. and their show is continuing. Sabawali Sio is one of the six, mm -hmm. and this is she. And this, we're, we're sitting here next to some of her work, which you can see. This one over there is under glass, so it's difficult. But anyway, we have a whole bunch of hers here, and I wanted to take this moment and have her say, Hi. Hi. And when did you start painting? In high school. Ah, in high school in Kenya? Yes. Uh-huh. Did yeah. you have art classes? Yeah, I took high school up to Fungfo, so KCSE. Uh, where was that? Uh, Loreto Convent Valley. I think Loreto Convent was pretty good on art. Yeah? Yes. There were a number of... So. Yes? Yeah. And then what about uh, in college? I think you went to school somewhere. I went to study fine arts in university. Where? At Buffalo, SUNY State University of New York. Oh. But then after the first semester, I panicked and switched majors. <laughs> what did you panic over? Um, discouragement. <laughs> Who discouraged you? Uh, the professors. Uh, the students, I used to hear things like you're just going to end up on drugs or on the streets, so I switched majors. Yeah. That is crazy. Yes. And was this your professor? There were, well, yeah, one particular professor, like, no, no harm to her. I'm sure maybe she wasn't doing it out of spite or anything, but she said, most of you are not going to make it. Um, the other half of you are either going to end up on drugs or on the streets or dead. Oh my goodness. Yes. How unencouraging. Yeah. <laughs> so how did you find your way back? I, it okay. just, I don't know, it just never left me as much as I studied a million other things. Uh -huh. um, Including all, finance, I think. Yes, finance, law, international relations. Um, I still did an art history diploma uh -huh. uh, at Sorbonne in Paris. Sorbonne, yeah. So that was fine, but still. You say the Sorbonne. Oui, yeah, oh. yes. <laughs> for how long was that? Uh, I was there for a year. Was that too much fun? Too much. Way too much. <laughs> Did you speak, do you speak French? Oui, je parle français. Oh. Yeah. Yes, I speak French. So that must have been very exciting. It was, extremely. How, how could you tear yourself away? Um, I got a scholarship to do my degree now in Madrid, so I moved. Madrid? Yes. And what did you study in Madrid? International relations. Oh. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So you have a few degrees. Yeah. And, and I don't use any of them. Well, I use them, but no, I don't really use them, but I use them. But for a while <laughs> I saw on Google that you did something with finance. I did, yes. I worked in an investment bank. I have worked with PE funds. Um, but primarily, I think I was just born to be an artist, so that's what I'm pursuing, and that's what I want to do. Now, um, when did you come back to Kenya? In 2013. Uh -huh. Yeah. And what what did you start doing when you got back? I immediately went to start working in a law firm. Uh -huh. Are you a lawyer? No. Well, I studied law, but I'm not a lawyer. Technically, I haven't gone to Kenya School of Law. Yeah. So in Kenya, I'm not a lawyer, but I've worked with law firms. Did you get a degree, a law degree somewhere? Yes. Yeah. From in, where? In England. Uh-huh. Yeah, at LSE. Uh-huh. Yeah. So I have a law degree. I LSE, London School of Economics? Yes, but it's just not what makes me happy. Like, it's, like no, no offense to any lawyers and any financiers out there. Yay for everyone, but... It's just not what I want to do, so, uh -huh. yeah. So they've, they've given me a lot of skills and a lot of discipline, and I use those skills for other things, uh -huh. um, but it's just not who I am. So. No, but you see, I love letting people know yeah. that artists are deep. <laughs> and especially women I artists. I don't know if I'm deep. <laughs> women are, but you see, you have experienced anyway, in certain fields. Yeah which is important. Yeah. And it's something you don't want to deny. No, I don't want to deny it. Uh -huh. I'm not denying it. I just don't... 
I like to appreciate the the lighter, sillier, fun things of life because life is already so exhausting. So when did you decide <laughs> yeah. to focus on art? It's I don't think it's like a decision. It wasn't like when did you decide? It's not like I woke up one morning and decided now I'm gonna be an artist. It's always been there. It's just that I have I think I have always just been fighting it uh. because um Everyone else tells you, oh, you're smart enough to do this. Why don't you do this? It'll make you more money. Um, and then you think, okay, maybe I should do this because it'll make you more money. But then the the painting thing, it's like a, it's like a, it's like a tick in your head that just doesn't, it doesn't stop. It's like you, you just don't stop thinking about it. It's almost like a, like a demon, or not a demon. It's like a spirit that's not leaving you alone. Uh -huh. So you just have to. You can't escape it. I can't escape it. I've stopped trying to escape it. So now I'm just like, you know what? I'm an artist. So I'm just going to paint. When did you <laughs> when did you do that? When did it sort of gradually start taking over? So, Margareta, honestly, it uh -huh. comes and goes. Uh -huh. Like, I'm not going to lie to you. When I came back home, I was like, oh, there's no art scene, whatever. My sister introduced me to Corona Trust. I met people like Polonditi who give me like a space to work from and I was like, okay, now I'm going to be an artist. Then I freak out and then I go back to something else. Uh -huh. Then that something else makes me so unhappy. Then I go back to art and I'm like, oh, I'm so happy. Then I freak out again. So I'm not going to say that I'm not going to freak out again, but I think now I won't freak out. I think now I'm good. Um, I genuinely believe now I'm good. It's just that it's been like a back and forth. It's like something internal that I've been fighting which uh -huh. now I'm not going to fight anymore. Please God, don't let me fight anymore. Like all the spirits, ancestors, come help me. <laughs> and so are you based somewhere now? Yes, I'm based from Brush2, uh -huh. Brush2 Art, uh -huh. and I also work from home. Uh -huh. Yeah. And where is home? Well, right now I'm homeless because I'm moving from one house to another. My current house is not yet ready, but there's a house down the road that I am trying to build. Um, in Karen? Yes, in Karen. So uh -huh. once that's done, I will move there and then hopefully I'll be working from there and from Brush2. Because I like the energy at Brush2. It's very positive. It's very non-judgmental. It's just... It Lovely just people. Flows. It flows. Very it nice flows. people. It flows. Wonderful. So now why don't you just... Uh, why don't you just show me a little bit uh, just okay. about this one because I know you've been experimenting a lot yes and you explained to me that you this one you're painting on glass is that yeah. right yeah um so this one is actually paper and glass this yes uh-huh and this is a deliberate um hammer to the middle of the painting that i did oh dear oh <laughs> so i broke the glass deliberately oh my goodness after i finished and then i show me right here yes this is oh. deliberate that and is then, so funny. Why? What happened? It's not what happened. It's what why, I was why, trying uh, to communicate. Okay, tell me. Uh huh. <laughs> yeah. You just have to just communicate with it, Margareta. Come on, like feel the. No, beauty. but you. But I think I. You know, I. I get fascinated with technique. Okay, it's part of my <clears throat> muffled voices series. Right? It's part of what? My muffled voices series. Okay. Okay. Yeah, which is sexual, physical, emotional, mental abuse of women. Uh -huh. And this fact that it's very hard to convey those messages or people feel frustrated that they can't, women rather, feel con frustrated that they can't talk about that stuff. Mm -hmm. So it, it's part of it. But this, oh. is, this is it. Yeah. Ah. Yeah. Muffled voices. It's so part of this I see your eyes there, yeah. or her eyes. Mm -hmm. But do you say that you used acrylic, acrylic paints, not paint... I mean, I know there's a paint, especially for glass, yeah. that you paint on glass, but you didn't do that. This was very experimental, no, but I painted wood glue over this because it clears um, dry. Now, so how many layers is this? Uh, a couple. Uh huh. I don't know how many, I, can't, I didn't count them, but it's a couple of layers. Now, the one behind us is yeah. also, it's, unfortunately, it is under glass. So you this can, is paper, paper. This is paper, uh -huh. but it's mixed media on paper. So this is ink and acrylic. Oh. Yeah. These are both women? They're three, three faces, yes. Oh. Yeah. Oh, interesting. Is this part of muffled? Yes, it uh -huh. is. Uh-huh. Yeah. And now we have one more over here. It's easy. But it's also 
a bit thunder glass, so it's difficult. Yeah, the reflection will... will yeah, it distorts. <laughs> uh -huh. This is also that series. Yes, it is. But you've taken that concept to another level, yeah. which I think is good. Yeah. I mean, it's interesting. Fantastic. We won't go all the way around, but I just want to thank you. Thank you. <laughs> thank you so much. I, I really, really appreciate it. Thank you.